Hello Empire lovers, how are we doing? Today we will be doing something different. We are making a hair product that is a, a neem dandruff shampoo that will, a shampoo that will help treat the scalp from itching, from dandruff and it will make the hair to grow. So without wasting of our time, let's head to making it sorry i don't have uh, the complete ingredients here but i will just um see them out and i will list the ingredients later on the description um, the comment section rather so we all know that our neem has a strong antibacterial and antifungal property and it has anti-inflammatory uh, effect and blood uh, purifying element that keeps that helps treat the scalp and let the hair grow very fast. So neem has been a very very good product um, ingredient that we use even at home. We use it to treat different kind of illness. So in today's uh, video, we will be using it to make our hair shampoo and a rinse of um water so now let's go on um, the ingredients our number one ingredient is you're going to get a fresh neem one cup um you're going to get a rosemary you use three tablespoons then you get your distilled water three cups then you're going to use um, cocoa betin. That is our that's our foaming agent. You're going to use a cocoa betin, or you make your black soap or make it into liquid. You're going to use either of it, either the cocoa betin or the black soap um, water. You're going to use one liter. Then you use a vegetable grizzling. Vegetables bristling is to help moisturize the hair. Is to help moisturize the hair because you know most times when you have um, dandruff, or oh, it's uh, it's itchy, but with the vegetable bristling is going to keep the hair hydrated. That is why we're using the vegetable bristling. So we're using a half cup of vegetable bristling. Then we're going to use our sulfur. Sulfur helps to treat all these um skin illnesses and like um eczema and so on so we're going to use one tablespoon of sulfur because we're using our uh, water in our product we're going to use um, um 30 ml of preservative then you use tea tree oil we're going to use tea tree oil the reason why we're using tea tree oil is to help um handle the itching that's the essence of the tea tree oil and it helps to clear dandruff. So um, let's go on how to make this shampoo. Number one, what you're going to do is um, you match these two ingredients together. That is the rosemary and the fresh neem um, leaf. You match it in a mortar. Then you add your water and sieve it. Keep it aside. Then you get your shampoo, either your shampoo, oh sorry, your cocoa betting, or you get your black soap. You use, uh, get a one liter, then you add the extracted neem water and um, rosemary into it. You stir, then you add other ingredients and stir. Leave it for a while, after a while, you sieve it. So that you get um you you take off all those um, particles in need then you can package it so for the rinse off after washing your hair with um the, the dandruff shampoo the, the rinse off water is what you're going to use to rinse off your hair and when you do that you're not going to like clean your hair all you need to do you just get the towel wrap your hair once the towel is soaked 
you remove it then allow it to dry on your hair please do not clean it because we need the properties in it so now how to make our rinse of um water is to get a cup of um, neem leaf and quarter cup of um, fenugreek match those two ingredients together then you get a distilled water one cup of distilled water you extract the water from it the, the extract rather from the herbs you used after doing that then you do uh, a double boiler do a double boiler that is you're gonna warm the the water you extracted after doing uh, extracting the water you leave it to cool down for a while then you can use it to rinse off your hair that is the rinse of um, water after doing these two um, recipe I gave to you I bet you within one month you're going to see a tremendous result as in that itchy scalp that dandruff we clear in no time so thank you for watching till the end please don't forget to comment don't forget to share with your friends share with your friends your friends your friends your friends and if you have any question drop it at the comment box i will attend to it thank you and god bless you